Hello everyone, my name is Monica. I am a sixth year special education teacher in Wisconsin. Technically, I'm cross-categorical, which means I have all the disability areas um, right now because I am the only special education teacher at my school. I basically run a self-contained model in my classroom and then also have pull-out students and push-in services at the same time. It keeps me busy. But as you know, I got a new classroom this year. Um, we didn't get in until like the second day of school actually starting. Look at this giant bulletin board. There's so many reasons why this room is an upgrade, not to mention that it's bigger, natural lighting, more storage, future bathroom. Like, it's really exciting. Um, right now, it's not much to look at, but washer dryer will be over here, I'm assuming in that square. The bathroom, I think, is mostly done like tiling. Obviously, they need to paint, but the tile is done. They've got like the outlets for the stuff. Look at the shower! And then over here is going to be, I think that's the oven. And I also asked for a sink. So I don't know if that's going to be over here too or if that's going to be over there by the washer dryer. I'm not really sure, but I'm excited about everything. My stuff was absolutely everywhere, but I am so thankful for my brand new room. So I have a couple clips of my old room here, and then I have some other clips of all of my belongings sitting in the hallway. I was told that the room would be done by July, and because of COVID, shipping delays, product delays, it just kept getting pushed back, back, back. And then, you know, next thing you know, it's two weeks before school and I still have a giant hole in the floor. Cement floors, there's no walls, but now it's January, we're into the groove of everything in the room. And I'd love to show you guys what the room looks like now. I really stopped filming most of October through December. I just didn't have time. Life has been crazy. And I moved the stuff around in the room a lot. So here we go. So when you first walk in, there's this nice big storage closet. Every single classroom in the school has a closet like this. My old room did not because they didn't really consider it a classroom. It was three offices that got put into a room. And now that I'm in this room, my old room is now again three offices. They put the wall back up. So I keep all of my like arts and craft supplies in here. There's also this beanbag here for a student that needs a break option. Um, there's a weighted blanket, a couple of sensory pillows. But for the most part, it's closed like this. Be kind, y'all. And so that stayed the same, um, except you know, there's a floor in here now. It's not just a cracked cement floor. Then I also have a little book area. These are all my picture books, my little book characters. And then I do have some board books. This is a sensory tile. I would love to buy some more and mount them on the wall, but for now it's just hanging out on the floor. Right here, you can see in the old room, it used to be chalkboards. They took the chalkboards down. I now have bulletin boards, whiteboard. The smart board is actually on the wall. For me, the teacher, it was just the brackets there. The smart board wasn't on the wall. You can see right here, this is where the chalkboard used to be. It's been up since 1960, so I'm just fine with some glue being there. In the old room, this was just some old wooden cabinets. I didn't even know I had so many outlets. So there's four outlets right here. In this corner is where the kiln used to be. Um, behind these bulletin boards, there's actually a metal plate where the kiln's exhaust used to go through. And eventually the oven is gonna go here. I have the outlet that I need for an oven. We are just waiting on the oven to actually arrive. And once the oven's here, then probably next school year, we're gonna work on some actual kitchen cabinetry up here. For now, we just keep our kitchen utensils in these boxes right here. And please excuse my laminating pile. I just didn't wanna cut it today. And then this sink is totally new. So they had to work on the plumbing. So you can see that this is a new addition um, so that we could get a kitchen type sink in here. These are built in, original. Um, we actually added this carpet like material to the top because there was like a laminate floor on top of the bookcase section, but it was peeling off. It was just a giant mess. So now this is where the chapter books live. And here's the bathroom. So the best part of this room is the bathroom, obviously. Brand spanking new, the nicest, fanciest thing this school has seen. And this is where the main 
art sink was. And so this is where kids would wash their hands in the art room. It was honestly just one giant mess. Again, that kind of um, hand washing station from the 1960s. You step on it and the water just sprays absolutely everywhere, not just on your hands. Giant mess. And then the washer and dryer used to be next to that. So in the new room, they made the bathroom. We're going to go in there in a second. Don't you worry. They moved the washer dryer over to this corner. So now this is kind of another break section that we have. I do have a nugget couch. The other pieces are in a different room. But um, if a student needs a break or they're looking for a reading spot, they can just fold this down and take a little rest. We keep our fridge here. That's me. Great picture of me. And then if we're cooking with the microwave, I just take the stuff off and we take the microwave over to um, where our little Santa tablecloth is. And we use that as like a little kitchen cooking island area. Um, I have a toaster. I have a blender. Once we have an oven, we will be good to go. <laughs> just got to be patient. And then along this wall, the smart board used to be here in the old room. Chalkboards, chalkboards. That's where the art teacher would keep her desk. It's just so bright and open in here compared to the old room. I mean, when kids came in um, the first month of school, once I had my stuff relatively together and we were allowing others to be in here, they were just amazed at how bright it was and how different it is. A lot of people thought that we had added on and no, we didn't add on. Honestly, my room is smaller than other rooms in the school now because there's a bathroom in it, but it looks bigger just because the floor is so white. I mean, besides the streaks and the marker all over the place, and then the walls, the ceilings are so big and airy. It's, it's exciting. Most of the time, we only have one section of lights on. Obviously, it's dark out right now, so it's not as bright in here as if it was the middle of the day. But we don't even usually have the lights on in this section, and it's plenty bright for everything. So now, if we wander our way into the bathroom... Please excuse the fan. It's crazy to imagine that there used to be wooden shelves here, that there was a giant hole in the floor over here, and now we have a functioning toilet. Um, it's one of those that it's an automatic flush, but you can also push it to flush. Have this as a potty chair option. We use the changing table all of the time. This is a student's items in his wombat chair, but we occasionally use the commode potty, but honestly, this little corner back here is just storage for things we haven't gotten to. And then other things I hide from students, like uh, that Power Ranger. Um, we keep our floor mop in here, and then we do have a shower. We've only used it once this school year, so hence the storage space. But we are still hoping to get a little bit more storage in here because it is you know, a lot of wall space. We were hoping for a cabinetry section. So we're hoping for cabinets right there that can help take care of some of this clutter. And then if someone wants to use the shower, they can go right on in and we don't have to be worrying about moving everything that's in the way. This is one of those bench style seats that folds down so somebody can sit there or that is meant to be in the shower as well. So you can sit on that as somebody is helping you shower because we have the handheld option right there. So yes, I had to wait what seemed like a million years to get a functioning classroom and an actual bathroom. But to me, it was so worth it because it's so great, so wonderful, so bright. Now I just have to wait for the oven to get here. And I'm waiting on a table. For the first two months of school, um, we had a couple student desks like that in here. And then we had three of these rolling style desks because we didn't have tables. I ordered the tables in July. They didn't come till November, but I also ordered three tables. So here's one table. Here's the other table. So these are the half moon style. I ordered a horseshoe one as well. So it's a little bit like this, a little skinnier, but the the wings, I guess you could say, are longer. Well, it arrived um, with a couple dimples in the top and it didn't have legs. And well, I can handle some dimples in the top of the whiteboard style table, but I cannot have a table with no legs. So we had to send it back. So eventually this table will go over here more by the smart board and the bigger one will be over here. I'm just waiting on a table. I'm not surprised. 
And so curriculum wise, this is like the writing section. This is where you can get your paper. If we're doing anything with stamps, I have numbers, letters, ink pads, um, different little designs if we're working on making cards, but it's a very independent section. If they have time that they wanna do something crafty, I keep the sensory bin over here. I do need to change it, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. This is a treadmill that folds down. So all you got to do is take out the little nut right there and then you can self-propel yourself on it. So yes, Mr. Washer Dryer. We have my eraser storage. I use them in the sensory bins and it's counting manipulatives. This is the Paris section. This is the actual only built-in storage in this room. When there's kids in here, it's child locked because I do have some silverware in there, but I keep my paint under there. I keep the stuff that I don't want the kids getting into in here. The vegetable oil, the cornstarch, the baking soda, the flour, you get the picture. Knives, silverware. Right here, I would keep anything that I would use for like a reading small group. So if a student's working on CVC, the para can just come over here and pull the bin at their assigned time. Um, I also have some of my social studies stuff that I use on occasion, some reading curriculum. These don't have pretty labels because we're just doing a functional tour. But if I'm looking for a visual schedule or I'm looking for a social story, I come on over here. And then I think the last area I haven't showed you, basically this is my desk area, beautiful. I cleaned it off just for the sake of this video. Those are fake, obviously. Eventually I'm getting a hole right there and a hole right there so that they'll separate it and be all cute and fake shrubbery. But for now they're just living on the floor, whatever. Last little area I haven't really covered. This isn't a very good tour because I'm just wandering around and showing you, but beggars can't be choosers, right? You guys have been asking for a tour for months. So right here, this is math curriculum, Bridges Intervention. I keep some of my touch math on the bottom. That's blue connecting math concepts. It's going to have black fabric like this. We forgot that this was four across, not a three across. These are the math drawers that are not used as often as these ones right here. These ones the students can do pretty independently. They want to use a calculator, they come on over. They need a fraction tile, they come on over. They need some counters, they need their number rack, come on over. And then right here, just a lot of my reading curriculum. And then that one fell off, but this is reading curriculums and the wooden puzzles. I like to keep a close eye on those because I don't like when the pieces go flying all over the place. These are chairs, we store them on top when we're not using them. And then this is the Unique Learning Systems Bulletin Board. We have two more days of the It's Tradition unit and then we will swap it. Also have the Velcro version of items in here. So if they're working on lesson four, that's what the para or myself are gonna pull to work with them. And then basically last little section, we're doing pumpkin jack. Basically you take a pumpkin and you watch it mold and rot throughout the year. I can't tell if I'm hoping that this is mold and not that it froze. I'm thinking it is because it's looking pretty nasty in there. But yes, Pumpkin Jack, our little classroom mascot, eventually he will fully decompose and these seeds will start to sprout and then the students can have their own little pumpkins to take home. Um, this is a student's communication center. If he's using that Big Mac button with the one option or there's this one in here with the four options, some of his choices, some of his work bins. We're big fans of Little Old Lady. So any of the Little Old Lady books, we have a lot of the things that, you know, when Little Old Lady eats the pants or the leaves, have a good selection of those. And then down here are all of his adaptive books and um, Velcro tasks. So that's my room going from basically August to January. So 2022 to 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tour of my classroom. By no means perfect. If you have any questions, you want a more in-depth video, you can comment down below. Um, if you want any certain links, let me know and I will try to link them. Or you can find me on Instagram, Sparkling Sp Educator, and I'm much more active and more on the ball over there at Instagram. So if you have any questions, you can find me there. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next one.